Kevin Thomas on Infuse TV with the champ, Charles Rosa. A great fight. I mean, the first round, Tovar pretty much was, you know, pretty much landing you with some hits, you know? And I mean, you pretty much really had your back against the wall. And then the second round, you just submitted him. <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, man, he came out, he came out tough, man. I was, you know, he stopped the first takedown. I knew he was going to be a good striker, and I mean, I had a good striker too. I'm a Muay Thai champion. I, I mean, I have a lot of experience, but man, I mean, that's his game. And, uh, you know, I got suckered into it in the beginning, you know, the striking. But, uh, you know, once I got him in the first round, I had him in a, a really deep knee bar. And then, man, I, I felt the cartilage pop a tiny bit. I thought he was going to tap, and man, he was so tough. He got out of it. It took a lot of gas out of me, so it slowed me down because I really put 100% into that submission, and that really gasses you a lot. But uh, once I got out of that, I got, uh, you know, the corner, I rejuvenated a little bit, got back to my game plan, established my jab and leg kick, and uh, once I got him in that arm bar, man, I wasn't letting it go. I felt it pop, but he waited another five seconds, and man, he's a tough, fuck. he's a real tough kid. <laughs> yeah, man, now I, I told you after your last fight with Chad Livingston, you said that was the toughest fight. Now you went up against Fernando <laughs> Tovar. What was the most toughest fight? Man, I feel like all these tough fights are getting tougher. <laughs> I mean, I did have this one one fight though. I forgot to mention. Uh, it's probably my fifth or sixth fight. It was my first title fight ever. It was a five round battle. And I mean, uh, that was probably one of my hardest fights. And then, you know, Chad, and this was about even because uh, with, with the Chad fight, just because, uh, I mean, it didn't go all three rounds, but he had me in a little bit of trouble and I uh, was able to get out of it. But man, I mean, him and Tovar, I, I mean, to be honest, I'd have to say it was even, man. Tovar had the, you know, he had me a little more rocked. He had me rocked and uh, that's, that's a scary thing in a fight, but uh, I was able to recover and uh, get on him and uh, I did it. I mean, you're probably the best amateur in the country. Now yeah. that we're talking about after the fight, you maybe coming back in June to fight Chad Lee. Yeah. And I mean, what's gonna go on? Man, I mean, that's what they want. But man, I'd rather be a training partner of Chad and fight him again. I mean, to be honest, uh, when I fought him, I, I dominated him all three rounds, and um, I mean, I, I I don't see the point in me fighting him again. He's an American Top Team guy. Um, you know, if I I mean, if I get to meet him in the UFC when the time comes, then I'll be glad to do it. But uh, I mean, I don't see having to fight each other. You know, we all come from the same camp, and I really want to. Uh, you know, I want to start building myself at the professional level and uh, take the right fights. And if he's one of the right fights, then I mean, I think it'll happen. But I mean, um, uh, I mean, I'm trying to go forward. You know, uh, not go backwards. I hear you, bro. Kendrick Thomas on the Fuse TV with the champ, Charles, Charles Rosa. Rosa. <laughs>